All right, so I'm in the grocery store. I've got uh, some issues going on here. It is A4. It's at 68 degrees. I can't open it right now because there's chips through here. And A7 as well. They haven't emptied this one yet, but they need to. Ice cream is soft. And then we make our way to the back. Also got walk-in freezer. And you can hear refrigerant flowing. Close the door real quick. You can hear the flow, but it's not cold enough to turn the fans on. These fans have a uh, fan delay, temperature delay switch. If they don't get cold enough, they won't turn the fans on. Here's a quick look at the computer. A7, that's the one that's got the soft ice cream. And then on the bottom, A4, that's the one that uh, that we saw was empty. All right, so went up on the roof and started looking for a leak. I looked all over the store, all over the cases for a leak. Then I came across this on the roof. This is on the receiver. And it's a big leak. So that's where, that's where it all went, right there. This is totally preventable. You've got to tighten the backup nut on these king valves like this. If you don't do this, they're going to leak. And then on top of that, you don't put the the cap back on it with the O-ring right. That's unfortunate. Come on, man. Once you got the backup nut sealed, you go to put the cap back on, they're going to have an O-ring on them, and you make sure that you put those on straight. It's very easy to put them on crooked. But they got to go straight like that and if they go straight then they'll they'll thread down and seat and you'll feel as you're tightening you'll feel it slowly get snug and so you want to put it on there nice and straight all right so you'll see here it threads down like that it can go on like that very easily and then it won't seal but for it to be right you'll see it goes a lot deeper when I put it on there straight and correct, and you'll see how far down it seats. And then you can feel it tighten up around the O-ring. And then once the cap is on and it's snug, you want to tighten it just a little bit, maybe like a quarter or half a turn until it's pretty tight. Don't want to over tighten it, but you also want to make sure that you do use a wrench to tighten it some. I've gotten in the habit of every time I go to add refrigerant, I make sure to use this tool to pull out the valve stem uh, and it goes a lot faster, especially if you're adding hundreds of pounds of refrigerant. So you just put on your, your tool onto the port that you're going to add refrigerant to. And I do, I, I add refrigerant to the, the cases on the sales floor instead of carrying all that refrigerant up the stairs uh, or, or up to the second level. It makes it so much easier. So get your valve stem out and then also take this out of your gauges uh, and that takes all the restrictions out. Connect your bottle to it and it, it puts a full jug in the, in the system uh, in like a minute or two. It's really fast. So this is where the racks are at, uh, up on like the second floor. And after I added one jug, it looked like my sight glass got even more clouded with... Well, not clouded, but more vapor in it. It got worse. Here's a look at what the computer was measuring. It was saying that there was 10.9% liquid level in there but it was actually zero. It was way below zero. Here are the receivers for rack. This is rack B that's closest to us and rack A is right there behind it. You can see rack A, it was, uh, you couldn't even see the needle or the arrow. So it was way below zero, the liquid level. And on rack B, for comparison, you can see that one was up around 50. That's after I added two jugs, I went had to go buy more refrigerant. All I had was uh, two jugs on my truck, so I picked up six jugs. This is just four of them, but I'm wheeling those in there now. And uh, so after I added um, 125 pounds, my sight glass was still flashing like that, as you can see. So, I mean, it took a lot of refrigerant to get in there. Uh, this number didn't move at all. The 10.9, it stayed... Uh, well until I got up to 125 pounds and it's just me adding a little bit more 
All right, so this is the sixth jug that I've, I've added. I got done adding it, and now I started to see a difference in my pressure. Um, now, finally, after six jugs, I got something on the on the receiver dial. You see right there, it finally started to register. And then after 150 pounds, we're, we're down or, or up at the receiver, it was actually showing 10% on the dial. It was measuring 20% on the computer for some reason. But yeah, and that's about it. I added another jug to it. Um, and I got that up to about 35, I think it was. Um, so that completed it. All right, we got 150 pounds in it and we finally have a clear side glass finally showing a 20% liquid level. All right, so we're adding jug number seven now. Finally, we got A4 down to zero degrees. And we actually got some liquid flowing. Okay, 175 pounds have been added. My receiver's reading 31.2%. I think I'm gonna be good with that. Just like that, A4 is back together and holding down. The A7, the one that was at 22 earlier, is at negative seven. Ice cream is not soft anymore. 